Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Thomas and today I will present the Magpie machine that I built together with my son Olaf. Uh, the idea of the Magpie machine is old. Unfortunately I haven't been able to realize it until I stopped working full time last spring. Then we started to construct the machine. The basic idea is to train some type of corvids to pick up all type of litter in exchange for some type of reward. Uh, and in our neighborhood magpies are plentiful so the choice is to use magpies to collect the litter. Uh, I would say this is the first video too. Uh, in this first video we will talk about how we constructed the machine and how it's operating. And in the next video we'll talk about how we train the magpies. So with that short introduction, uh, now we will talk you through all the parts of the machine and also how they are operating together. So with that said, over to the chief engineer, Olaf. So we're going to start with the outer part of the system. Uh, as you can see, it's attached to the outside of our terrace. It has this little plastic roof to protect it from the weather. Um, you might also see that it's an old IKEA cabinet and we're gonna take a closer look and see what's on top and we're gonna take a pause right there and you can see that we have a camera that is recording what's going on on the experimental platform and then we have the drop hole which is the hole where the magpies come and drop the litter into the machine and you also see that we have a little food bowl which the feeder dispenses the food into so the feeder contains of two parts. It's the box in the back, which holds the place for the feeder motor, which my dad is just gonna talk about in a sec. So this feeder motor is connected to a drill, which goes through the wall and into this triangular container, which contains food. In the bottom of this container, there's a little hole, which the drill is able to push uh, food through, and then it can go down into the food bowl. And Basically, the hole is kind of hard to see right now because there's a metal cover as well as some duct tape in the way in order for the magpies not to reach into the container without actually putting down litter. The feeder motor, this masterpiece of engineering. An old Toyota windshield wiper motor with a 10mm spiral drill attached to it. It's driven by 12 volts DC. And that's a pretty strong motor, but that's good because the hot cat food that we use as, uh, in the feeder is quite hard and get jammed sometimes, but it's no problem here. It's just pressed through the hole. We're going to continue with the inside of the cabinet and starting off with opening it with these two little fingers on the side. I'm not sure what they're called. So inside the box we have these two LED lights as well as a camera secured in place with a lot of duct tape. And then we also have the drop hole which we saw from before. Uh, we had some problems with light traveling down through the drop hole and triggering our trigger mechanism. So we put two pieces of cardboard into the drop hole to solve this problem. Directly under this camera we have this black container where all the litter lands after being dropped into the box. Uh, in this area, the camera can detect uh, movement and thereby dropped objects. Taking a step back, you can see that the lower part of the cabinet is painted black and a white background would probably be too bright and it would be harder for the camera to detect dropped objects. And to the right, you can see some other stuff going on and Thomas is gonna talk a bit more about that. Alright, now I'm going to talk about one part of the magpie machine that is absolutely not necessary. But we thought it was really something important in the beginning. We thought that it would be a lot of problems that magpies would come with twigs, leaves and branches and stones and put them down into the machine. Therefore we built a very simple sorting mechanism. You see the black box could slide to the left and to the right and it's driven by a window lift motor from an old Volvo I think it is 
uh, and therefore we could sort of sort leaves and twigs to one side and proper liquor, liquor to the other side. To be able to do that, uh, we also have connected a very, very simple uh, image classifier that is connected to the inside camera. And that is made so it will distinguish between litter and non-litter. Uh, in the following video clips, we'll see some uh, quite amusing uh, clips from the construction of the sorting box. Uh, mechanically, the sorting box were a prison pretty miserable construction. Uh, the image analyzer is, is okay, it's very simple, it, it's a support vector machine that we've traded. Uh, but the most amusing thing I think is in the end we didn't need the sorting mechanism at all. It turns out that the magpies, once they've been trained, only collect real litter. We have now over 5,000 interaction between the machine and the magpies and they have never collected and left something else than real litter. So that's quite amazing. Coming back to the cabinet, you can see all the cables from the inside of the box going out through this little hole, joining up with the cable from the outdoor camera and they all join together through this vent. And on the other side of this vent, we have our garage. Uh, here you can see the computer we are using to run our script. So both the indoor and outdoor camera is connected to this computer via USB. And the computer is nothing special, it's just a stationary PC that we bought second hand. And here you can see quite a mess with all the cables, and I'm sorry for that. Anyhow, we have this cheap USB relay that we bought off Amazon. And both the cables to the feeder motor and the sorting motor is connected to this USB relay which itself is connected to the computer and we can control this USB relay in our script and this makes it possible to turn on and off our motors that we use for the feeder and the sorting motor and as you can see you also have the power switch for the lights as well as the power switch for both the motors and of course we have uh, monitor as well, which we can watch the output of the script as well as the video that we have captured. And with that said, we have covered all of the parts and now we'll summarize by watching one of the tricks and hopefully you will understand how all the different parts work together. So to summarize, we're gonna use this video of a magpie dropping a bottle cap as an example. So here we have the magpie that has brought a bottle cap and it drops it into the drop hole which goes through the drop hole and into the black container where the camera can detect that a bottle cap has been dropped. And then we can use the USB relay to trigger the feeder motor so that it dispenses some food for the magpie in exchange for the bottle cap. Also when the feeder is triggered we trigger the outdoor camera and we get the footage that we are watching right now. So the outdoor camera is not needed for the function of the Magpie machine. However, it gives you a lot of nice footage where you can study their interesting behavior. And it's also needed when you train the birds. And that is something that we're gonna cover in another video. And with that said, I hope you enjoyed. And hopefully you have a better understanding of how the Magpie machine works. And if you have any more questions, just ask them in the comments and I will do my best to answer them.